In this shoemaking tutorial, I will teach you four steps that you should follow in lasting shoes. It's a small pro shoemaking tip, but very important. And please, don't last your upper with your hands. Use a professional tool, pincers, to have very tight and beautiful shoes and not damage your hands. So, let's go! Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. Before you will last, you will start to last your upper on the shoe last, you should be prepared. What I mean? You need to attach the insole to the bottom of your shoe last. You need to mark on the heel part point until which the edge of the top line in the heel part will reach. You see here on this shoe last, I have this mark. You probably will not have this mark. Or if you have, you should check if this mark is correct. So there is certain measurements on how to find this mark on the heel part. And I already made a tutorial where I teach how to find it for each shoe last size. For my shoe size 38, it must be 55 millimeters. So I will need to measure it along center line of the heel with the tape, measurement tape, starting from the edge of the shoe last where we have steel plate. Along central line, I will need to measure 55 millimeters for my size. Same thing do with the second half of the shoe last. Okay, you should have strong mark to see it. Right now you see it's like this. Okay. Then next step is to place stiffeners between lining and upper. And only after all these steps, you can start lasting your upper on the shoe last. So what is the first step in the lasting of your shoes? First step is to place your upper following this mark that we have on the back of our shoe last in the way where central line of our upper lays along central line of our shoe last. It's very important. You know, there are a few ways to place your upper on the shoe last. Some shoemakers play, place it like this and then they grab it and, pu and they pull it until it reaches the needed place. There are a few possibilities. But this is one of them, where you will place your upper already according to this mark. So, you should place it, as I told you, in the way where the center of our shoe last matches the center of our upper. And the edge of the top line reaches the mark that we have on our shoe last. After you will find this place correctly, we need to firm our upper so it will stay on the right place. We can firm it with nails. You see, I use here same nails that I will use to last the front part, to, uh, to last the front part of the upper and I already, I already made a tutorial about nails that I use in lasting. You can check it and I place the link below the video. So same nail we need to place here in the seam between stitches. Don't place it on the stitch because um, you will break it. So find the place between stitches and place the nail. Don't bend it till the end because nail may leave a mark on the upper. Then next step is to place our upper correctly on the shoe last. These few steps are very important in making shoes. If you want to have beautiful shoes, comfortable shoes and 
what is uh, and another one of the most important things is to have uh, to last your uppers on both halves identically that's why you need to follow same steps in elastic your uppers on both halves halves of the shoulders both halves of the uppers okay so what um, marks will help us to find the central line on the upper we usually have this mark this is the center of the upper sometimes we'll have mark on the upper here mark left uh, from owl or maybe a silver pen okay and according to this mark we will know that this is this where we have the center of the upper working with the uh, derby shoes oxford shoes any shoes with laces we can find the center by eyes according to the quarters okay it's or usually the uh, between in the middle of the quarters we will have the center so you will have here um, in this example of the upper i have here few points that indicate the center of the upper the front one and in the middle of the quarters so we need to place it in the way where the center that lays between these two marks, this one and in the middle of the quarters, matches the center of the shoe last. If it's very difficult for you to find center of the shoe last by eyes, you can previously mark it on the shoe last, so you will have this line exactly. Then, after you will place it according to To the center of both parts the center of the upper and center of the shoe last you will turn it over like this and will last both parts of our upper upper and lining and you will last it in the front area but first nail is here in the center so you will hold your upper like this so you will be sure that upper will not move to any place it will stay in the center like you already placed before and then grab lining and upper together and pull then place nail You can place here a few nails, uh, two nails, so it will not move when we will last size. Right now, it doesn't important on which. Uh, distance you place these two nails because all this operation that i will teach you right now is about the beginning of lasting and we will place our upper here uh, we last our upper on the front part because after this lasting that only the way how to place it correctly on the shoe last we will start to close our back part okay so there are a few steps and this is the first one one of the most important for uh, steps to place your upper correctly on the shoulders okay so now you can check yourself again and see if you placed uh, your upper correctly where the center of upper matches the center of the shoe last and then we start to last on the sides you can grab the upper and lining with your hands to fix it to form it then you'll rotate it turn it over to last it here on the sides now we will place two nails on both sides the strength that you will use to uh, pull the upper and lining now it doesn't important you need to pull it as much as you can but not too much because sometimes the data can tear up okay it will come with experience but in the, when you start making shoes if you're a beginner pull it 
feel like you can't pull it more don't pull it too much okay after we will close here we will come back and we will start to last the front part again and i already made video how to last it so you can check how to do it i will place a link below the video okay so next thing is to last our lining and upper on the sides you see i grab grab the lining then i grab the upper and then all them together hold it and place nail here then same thing do on the other side grab lining grab upper and then pull them together until you will not feel here any empty space here you see you can check with your hand if you last it correctly you see it's i pull strong enough and if you will work without this tool with your hands you will not be able to make this step steps professionally if you want to make slippers to to wear them at home you can do it with your hands but if you want to have well-made shoes comfortable shoes beautiful shoes work with pincers okay you see i need to pull it strong enough to place it tightly on the shoe last here we have stiffeners now we need to close this part with stiffeners and then come back to the front part take off all these nails and last it again okay but before you will move on before you will start to close the back part of one of your last, do same steps on the second half. Check them to see if you did it identically on both shoe last, and you can continue to uh, finish your lasting. Now, before you start to close the back part of your upper, you should fix it because if you will pull it, it will slide down. And that's why we have here this lasting allowance to fix, to form our upper on the right place. Okay, so right now place few nails here on this lining allowance that we have. Of course, check yourself if the outer side is lower than the inner side. Okay, and I will not. Place right now nails on the other side because it's the same just place few nails here so when you will close the back part when you will pull here it will stay on the right place and the back part will be tight and done with uh, professional steps of lasting okay so place some nails on the outers on the inner side as well that's it don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out thank you and see you in the next video bye